Welcome to task five of the Found Sounds Garage Band project. Today, in this final task, I'm going to be asking you to find a song that you like and take as many different ideas from that as possible to create your own track. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to use the song Teardrop by Massive Attack and take some of their ideas to make my own track. So here's a drum pattern like we did for task three, but now I'm going to use the track controls button. Using track controls, I can add effects to each track individually. I can change the EQ, I can add echo, reverb, compression, I can boost the bass. Now I'm going to add some melodic ideas like we did in task four. And some bass. And I'm going to use the track controls to change how the parts sound. Adding a little boost to the bass and maybe a little bit of extra echo and reverb. As I said in the introduction, I'm copying some ideas from Teardrop by Massive Attack. I'm going to add some vocals now. Get ready. So I'm going to add a new track, go to the voice recorder. The first thing I'm going to do is go to settings and in track settings, I'm going to choose multi-take recording. That means I can record over and over again until I'm happy with how it sounds. Here's my beautiful singing. Now when you double tap that region, you should see a new menu takes and you can choose between the two and select which one you want to keep. Now I've chosen my take, I'm going to tap the microphone button and head back over to the record view so I can mess around with my vocals. First thing I'm going to do is turn up the pitch control and vocal hall to add some reverb and tune my voice, then compressor. Tap track controls to bring up the track settings, then tap on the label that says plugins and EQ. Here we have a list of effects and EQ. If you tap edit, then tap effect EQ, a whole list of effects pops up. I'm going to choose the flanger. Let's hear what that sounds like. Much better. Can't even tell it's me singing anymore. Now I'm going to tap on the microphone again and duplicate this track to keep all of the settings the same when I add another vocal track. Then I'm going to mute what I've already recorded and add in another vocal part. So here we have my second vocal part with all the same effects as the first vocal part. Now I'm going to add a guitar part. I'm going to change it from chords to notes. Then I'm going to choose the retro wah guitar and then I'm going to tap scale and change it to minor pentatonic so it fits with all my other parts. Now I'm going to add a little bit of overdrive to this guitar part to make it sound a little bit more beefy. Now I've finished recording all my tracks, it's time to go to song section and duplicate. I'm going to duplicate the section loads and loads of times so I can now create my own arrangement. Then I'm going to tap all sections. Now you can select multiple tracks from a section and delete them to create your own arrangement. Now the final thing left to do is to add a fade in at the beginning and the end of the track. I'm going to do that by tapping on the track header and selecting automation. Here in automation view you tap the pencil button so that you can draw the levels for each track. Here I'm drawing a fade out on each track so that at the end of the piece of music it'll automatically get quieter and fade out to nothing. I've added a fade in at the start as well. And here is my finished track, so I'm just going to play around with the effects.